Hi, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari, and in today's lesson, I am going to show you how you can improve your machine learning model using a bagging. So before we start this lesson, you need to understand that how bagging works. For example, let's say you have this given data set. All right. So in the bagging, this given data set is divided into a number of set. And in this example, let's say it is divided into three set, the set one, set two and the set three. And uh, in this set, then there is separately classifier one, classifier two and classifier three is used. And then finally, a aggregation is made and that uh, after that aggregation, then finally output is calculated. Now you see here a single data set. A training data set was divided into the three set and uh, bagging um, uh, this data set can be divided into the two or more uh, the set so it's not only just limited to the three set but it can be divided into four five six or ten or whatever number you want and then the finally a classifier can be used separately on those uh, uh, a set and then finally aggregation can be made to calculate the final output so this is whole scenario how these uh, are the bagging works but in this lesson apart from this bagging we will be using svm as well so along with the bagging for a classifier we will be using svm in in the classifier so before we start the coding you need to also understand what is the time complexity of svm and how that is going to affect uh, during the training when we do bagging so for SVM, we have a time complexity of uh, 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 the O power cube. So that's you can say the kind of the cubic time complexity. OK, so that's the cubic time complexity. In fact, uh, uh, that should not be the O cube. That should be the big O n power three. All right. So we have n cube time complexity. And um, so that means as we increase the number of input samples, training time increase cubically. For example, you need to understand that if we have 1000 input samples and if it takes 10 seconds to train. So this is just for example, if this 1000 input samples takes 10 seconds to train, then the 3000 input samples which is just three times more, uh, which is just three times more than this 1000 will take 10 into three power three seconds to train. Now you see here, this is the cubic time complexity. All right. So if we have a large number of set, uh, 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 the data samples uh, to train, then what you can do, you can use bagging and you can divide your samples into multiple set and then you can train those uh, multiple sets separately for example if we uh, uh, train uh, all 3000 samples together then the total number of trainings uh, the time which will uh, which will be taken that will be 10 into 3 power 3 that is uh, uh, 200 uh, 270 270 seconds all right 3 power 3 that's the 27 into 10 that's the 2 270 seconds but 1000 samples is being uh, uh, the train in only how much in a 10 seconds all right but if we divide it into 1000 1000 and 1000 into th 3 set then these sets will take 10 seconds 10 seconds and 10 all right so these will be done actually in parallel all right even though if it is not being done in the parallel but uh, the samples are divided parallelly but let's say if you are using just a single core of your computer then the 10 10 and the 10 that's just the 30 seconds okay so instead of 270 seconds if we divide into the three set it will just take a 30 seconds to train all right so let's go ahead and understand this with an example so before we start we need to import some packages python packages like numpy 
and uh, bagging classifiers and uh, I don't think we need random forest so we don't need random forest and we also need to uh, import the data set as well as SVM okay so let's go ahead uh, the first import the data set in this example we are going to import iris data set so here we have iris is equal to data set dot load iris okay so in this iris data set we have here iris now if we print this iris you will see here uh, dictionary okay and uh, this dictionary have keys you see here data target target name and description feature name and file name so we'll be needing the data the target and description I, I, I don't think we need a description but let's go ahead and understand this data if you don't know much about this data that you can understand with iris dot uh, dot description so it says that this iris data set is kind of plants data set which has four attributes sepal length width and petal length and width and all these is given into the centimeter and uh, the classes is uh, uh, iris setosa versicolor and virginica so there are three classes so based on these four attributes we need to classify it into three classes all right perfect so let's go ahead and first read it x into uh, 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 iris dot data into x that's the data and y is equal to iris dot target now let's go ahead and get the shape of this so here we have uh, the shape of input as well as the shape of output okay so x have uh, 150 samples there are four attributes and the y of course have 150 samples all right but you see for uh, uh, working with the machine learning models these 150 samples are really very low number of samples so here what we are going to do here uh, we are going to utilize a repeat function which we have with np.repeat and if you press shift and the double tap you will get the details of repeat here so if we pass here a and if we pass here uh, the repeat and the axis none so axis um, uh, here you see I think we should pass axis 1 uh, uh, axis 0 in axis 0 it will just uh, I think we should pass axis 1 okay we'll see here so we are gonna pass here X and then repeat uh, for first time we are gonna pass here uh, repeat for 200 times and um, then here we have axis axis is equal to i think we are gonna pass here a zero all right and similarly we need to do for y as well so here we have repeat is equal to y dot uh, repeats that's the 200 times so in this line actually what we are doing here in this line we are just increasing the number of samples so that we can get a um, uh, uh, some proper time for training otherwise just for 150 samples it will get trained in just few milliseconds and that will not give a proper uh, uh, the estimation of uh, improvement in training time so here now let's go ahead and get the shape of x along with y as well so the shape of x and the y has been changed now let's go ahead and work uh, with without uh, train without bagging okay so here what we are going to do here uh, uh, during the training without uh, the bagging we are going to create first classifier that's the CLF CLF is equal to SVC there and there we also need to pass here kernel in kernel we are gonna pass here linear kernel and apart from that kernel we also need to pass here uh, the probability 
that's the probability we are gonna pass it as true and apart from that we are also gonna pass here uh, the class weights okay so here we have probability in the probability we are gonna pass here uh, uh, the true and in class weight you see here there are multiple uh, uh, the multiple uh, the parameters in class weights we can do there you can see here class weights either could be balanced or none but here we are going to pass here class weight balanced all right and then here we are going to pass here clf dot fit and there we are going to pass here x and y and we are going to use here magic command magic command calculates uh, the total time taken to execute this particular cell all right so let's go ahead and run this then you, it, you will see total time here so it says that the total time we have got 5.2 seconds I think the accuracy we have not got the accuracy so let's go ahead and get the accuracy as well okay so SVC accuracy here uh, there we have I think with the matrix uh, that we will get with CLF dot score that is accuracy actually and uh, in that we should pass here the CLF dot uh, predict x all right so let's go ahead and see the one thing you should notice here is that this is not the uh, uh, the proper training and the testing uh, it says that one missing positional uh, arguments required there i think yes here i have missed uh, yes so this is not uh, 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 the proper training and the testing of machine learning model I think this CLF predict should not be there okay yes so uh, this is not like a proper machine learning model testing and the training because in a proper machine learning training and the testing model we need to first divide the data set into the training and the testing samples but here we are just testing the training times of our machine learning model but not actually uh, the accuracy of our model all right so uh, I do not care uh, the how much accuracy we are getting here now this is without the bagging now let's go ahead and train it with the bagging okay so uh, during if we train it with the bagging so what we can do uh, the CLF is equal to bagging classifier and in that we need to pass this complete uh, the SVC now if you press shift and the tab you will see here what is the base estimator a base estimator which I am going to use here that is this SVC and after that you will see here how many number of estimators we are going to use okay so let's say and number of estimators I'm gonna use here 10 number of estimators by default which is also available so here I'm gonna say number of estimators is equal to sorry yeah n estimators and apart from that you will see here there is another parameter which we need to pass um, that is the max number of samples okay so that's the max sample and that max sample is uh, the total number of samples and then divided by uh, uh, divided by uh, the number of estimators so here the total number of samples we have uh, uh, the we have 30 thousands uh, but in this uh, uh, but in the bagging classifier if we represent 1.0 that's mean the full number of samples that's the 30 thousands so that's the hundred percent divided by n number of estimators all right so here we are going to use total number of samples uh, 
that's the 3000 actually now it becomes 3000 all right now after that let's go ahead and just copy it and paste it here okay perfect so let's go ahead and train it now once we do that we should get the result uh, yeah i think we have missed the time here okay there we have a time now let's see here yeah so now you see uh, in the original uh, without the bagging the training time was a uh, five second but with the bagging the training time is two seconds you can understand it in better way let's say if we uh, do it for 500 seconds okay so for a five sorry 500 times repeat number of samples becomes 75 thousands okay so if it becomes 75 thousands in that then definitely uh, without bagging it is going to take a much time so perhaps it should take around 10 to 20 seconds to train otherwise it might take uh, more than one minutes so what we need to do we only uh, uh, need to wait to complete its training so let's go ahead and wait for its training all right so the training is done here now you see it has taken total uh, 34 seconds to train without bagging but let's go ahead and see with the bagging how much time it is going to take with the bagging definitely it will take less times than 34 seconds I, I think it should take somewhere in between 10 to 15 seconds to complete yeah perfect now you see it is taking just 10 seconds now if you remember that earlier it has taken around the 5 seconds and with bagging it has taken around 2.5 seconds. So there were around the 2 times of the improvement but this time it is, uh, uh, it is giving the 3 time improvement. Actually what is happening here um, there is less number of data samples and, uh, and there is a lot of the overheads uh, which taking place while the training this uh, algorithm. Uh, so those overhead cannot be reduced by bagging classifier that's mean by dividing the the data samples into the multiple sets so you can see a pretty much very effective uh, reduction in training time if you have your base model uh, base model which is taking more than the hours to train then the definitely you will see that with the bagging classifier with, with the bagging classifier uh, uh, your model should take around 1 by 10th of total training time which is being taken by your base model all right so i hope you have got the idea how you can improve the training time of your algorithms by using a bagging classifier without suffering much of the accuracy Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe this channel so that you can get updates into your inbox. And if you have any doubts, please comment below. I would like to definitely get engaged with you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.